Hai Andi. Hai Jo. Okay, good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, teacher. Okay. okay, please let us have this, Andy. Let us have the listening chat. Okay. Let us start now. Are you ready, Andy? Ready. Okay, before that, we have vocabulary. We have the word cat as well. Cassette, recorder, this one is recorder. Okay, please. Okay, please listen. One, how much did the boy's football shirt cost? Did you spend all your birthday money on your new football shirt? Grandma gave me 35 pounds. But it was only £20.50 in the sports shop in the city centre. That sounds expensive to me. My new t-shirt was only eleven seventy-five. But football shirts are always more expensive than other shirts. Oh. Now listen again. Did you spend all your birthday money on your new football shirt? Grandma gave me £35, but it was only £20.50 in the sports shop in the city centre. That sounds expensive to me. My new t-shirt was only eleven seventy-five. But football shirts are always more expensive than other shirts. Oh. Two. What did Sophie enjoy doing most at the weekend? What did you do at the weekend, Sophie? I went to the beach with my family. We played volleyball, but my foot hurt, so I wasn't very good. Oh. Then I went swimming with my little brother. That was OK. But my dad taught me how to fish, and that was really cool. Really? I think fishing's boring. Now listen again. What did you do at the weekend, Sophie? I went to the beach with my family. We played volleyball, but my foot hurt, so I wasn't very good. Oh. Then I went swimming with my little brother. That was OK. But my dad taught me how to fish, and that was really cool. Really? I think fishing's boring. Three. Where did Paul stay on holiday this year? Hi, Paul. Did you have a good holiday? Yeah, great. We went on holiday with my cousins again this year. Remember, last year we stayed on a boat. Yes. Did you do that this year too? Mum wanted to stay in a hotel with a big swimming pool, but everyone else wanted to go camping, so we did that. Now listen again. Hi, Paul. Did you have a good holiday? Yeah, great. We went on holiday with my cousins again this year. Remember, last year we stayed on a boat. Yes. Did you do that this year too? Mum wanted to stay in a hotel with a big swimming pool, but everyone else wanted to go camping, so we did that. Four. Which subject will they study first today? Hi, Anna. Have you seen the new timetable for today? No. Aren't we having maths first? That's what we usually do on Tuesdays as soon as we get to school. Maths is the third lesson. 
after geography. So chemistry before that. Exactly. Anyway, I've finished my geography project, finally. Now listen again. Hi, Anna. Have you seen the new timetable for today? No. Aren't we having maths first? That's what we usually do on Tuesdays as soon as we get to school. Maths is the third lesson, after geography. So chemistry before that? Exactly. Anyway, I've finished my geography project, finally. Five. Why was Tina late for school today? Tina, why were you late for school today? Well, I got up at seven. My phone always wakes me up then. But when the bus came, it didn't stop because it was full. So what did you do? I went home and asked Mum to give me a lift. The traffic wasn't bad, but I was still 15 minutes late. Now listen again. Tina, why were you late for school today? Well, I got up at seven. My phone always wakes me up then. But when the bus came, it didn't stop because it was full. So what did you do? I went home and asked Mum to give me a lift. The traffic wasn't bad, but I was still 15 minutes late. That is the end of part one. Okay. Andy. Andy? Okay. How much did the boy football shirt cost? Yes. Letter B. What did Sophie enjoy doing most the weekend? Okay. Where did Paul stay on holiday this year? Letter A. Which subject will be study first today? B. Why was Dina late for school today? Okay, because he was left by the bus. Okay. Let us have here lesson to Sarah talking to a friend about her holiday photographs. Okay, so what place is each person in? So these are the people. Okay, and these are the places. Okay, please listen. Now look at part two. Listen to Sarah talking to a friend about her holiday photographs. What place is each person in? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. I've got some photos of my holiday in Spain here. Did you go with your family, Sarah? Yes. This is my mother walking in the mountains. What lovely trees! And this is my sister, Caroline, swimming. Uh -huh. She preferred swimming here to the hotel pool. 
The sea looks very blue. And who's this, standing outside a castle? Jack, but it's not a castle. It's a cathedral. It's one of the oldest in Spain. And is this you, Sarah, buying bananas in a market? <laughs> yes. That wasn't far from our hotel. The fruit was really cheap there. Uh, and here's Peter eating. Mm -hmm. Is he in the garden of your hotel? Actually, it's a restaurant near the cathedral. We often went there. <laughs> What's your father doing with the cassette recorder in this photo? Oh, he loves history. He's in a museum here listening to information. That was his favourite day, because we also visited a castle in the morning. They're great photos, Sarah. Now listen again. I've got some photos of my holiday in Spain here. Did you go with your family, Sarah? Yes. This is my mother walking in the mountains. What lovely trees. And this is my sister, Caroline, swimming. Uh -huh. She preferred swimming here to the hotel pool. <laughs> the sea looks very blue. And who's this, standing outside a castle? Jack. But it's not a castle. It's a cathedral. It's one of the oldest in Spain. And is this you, Sarah, buying bananas in a market? <laughs> yes. That wasn't far from our hotel. The fruit was really cheap there. Uh, and here's Peter eating. Mm -hmm. Is he in the garden of your hotel? Actually, it's a restaurant near the cathedral. We often went there. <laughs> What's your father doing with the cassette recorder in this photo? Oh, he loves history. He's in a museum here listening to information. That was his favourite day, because we also visited a castle in the morning. They're great photos, Sarah. This is the end of part two. Okay, so Caroline is into, very good, it's into the sea. Chuck is into, letter B, Ikatidwal. And Sarah is into, the market. Mm -hmm. And Peter is into, restaurant. And Sarah's father is into, Museum. Okay, very good. Okay, let us have this. Lesson to Sue talking to her friend about the new sports center. For question 11 to 15, check A, B, or C. Now look at part three. Listen to Sue talking to her friend Jim about the new sports centre. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Have you been to the new sports centre, Jim? Yes, Sue. It's not cheap, but it's big and light. Does bus 18 go there? That's right. It takes 15 minutes. Uh, don't get bus 25, because you have to walk a long way. I like doing sport early in the morning. Is it open at 7? Yes. You can go there from 6, except on Sundays. Then it doesn't open until 9. The swimming pool has good hot showers. You have to bring your own towel, but you can get soap there. They don't make you wear a swimming hat. Do they sell things to eat there? Only sandwiches. They don't sell drinks. I usually take some fruit. I'd love to go with you next week. How about Wednesday? Well, I work until late on Wednesday. I'm free on Saturday, but it's too busy then. It'll have to be Thursday. OK. See you then.
Now listen again. Have you been to the new sports centre, Jim? Yes, Sue. It's not cheap, but it's big and light. Does bus 18 go there? That's right. It takes 15 minutes. Uh, don't get bus 25, because you have to walk a long way. I like doing sport early in the morning. Is it open at 7? Yes. You can go there from 6, except on Sundays. Then it doesn't open until 9. The swimming pool has good hot showers. You have to bring your own towel, but you can get soap there. They don't make you wear a swimming hat. Do they sell things to eat there? Only sandwiches. They don't sell drinks. I usually take some fruit. I'd love to go with you next week. How about Wednesday? Well, I work until late on Wednesday. I'm free on Saturday, but it's too busy then. It'll have to be Thursday. OK. See you then. This is the end of part three. Okay, so 11. Which bus goes to the sports center? You said number 18. Okay, very good. From Monday to Saturday, the sports center is open from 6 p.m. If so, guess go swimming she must take letter c a towel and at the sports center you can buy what you can buy a stand which this okay and jim and sue are going to go to the sports center on very good thursday one mistake only great job okay so this one okay. 16 to 20, Andy, you will hear a man making a telephone call. You listen and complete question 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice or two times. Please listen. Now look at part four. You will hear a man making a telephone call. Listen. And complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello. Could I speak to Diana, please? She's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Uh, tell her that Ian called from head office and we've booked her into the April Hotel for two nights. Which hotel? The April. You know, like the month. Oh, yes. I'm sure she'll like it. It's on Leith Street. Could you spell that? L-E-I-T-H. Leith Street. OK, I've got that. Now, she knows where the meeting will be, but she doesn't know the time. Tell her it will begin at 20 past 10 and finish at 4.30. Right. And could you tell her to take the book with her? She'll know which one. I'm sure she's finished reading it. OK. Anything else? Oh, yes. Please tell her I'll take her to the factory on Tuesday and she can speak to Mr. Brown on Wednesday morning. All right. I'll make sure she gets the message. Thanks very much. Now listen again. Hello. Could I speak to Diana, please? She's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Uh, tell her that Ian called from head office and we've booked her into the April Hotel for two nights. Which hotel? The April. You know, like the month. Oh, yes. I'm sure she'll like it. It's on Leith Street. Could you spell that? L-E-I-T-H. Leith Street. OK, I've got that. Now, she knows where the meeting will be, but she doesn't know the time. Tell her it will begin at 20 past 10 
and finish at 4.30. Right. And could you tell her to take the book with her? She'll know which one. I'm sure she's finished reading it. OK. Anything else? Oh, yes. Please tell her I'll take her to the factory on Tuesday and she can speak to Mr Brown on Wednesday morning. All right. I'll make sure she gets the message. Thanks very much. This is the end of part four. Okay, so name of the hotel and the is April Hotel, address, it left, correct, meeting starts at 10.20, and bring what? Book and visit factory on when Tuesday. Okay, let us move to the next. Okay. You will hear some information about the zoo. You listen and complete the question. Okay, ready? Okay, let us talk about the park zoo. Okay, please listen about the park zoo. Okay, name of the nearest station. The elephant house closed on what time? The shop sells books, postcards, and what else? How much is the cost of the family tickets? Okay. Now look at part five.
you will hear some information about a zoo. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Thank you for phoning Park Zoo. The zoo is open from Monday to Saturday from 9 in the morning to 7.30 at night and on Sundays from 10 to 5. You can stay in the zoo for one hour after closing time. The zoo is north of the city centre and you should take the train to North Station. It is a five-minute walk from there. We have many interesting animals for you to see. But please note, the Elephant House won't be open on the 3rd of May. I'm sorry, but you can't see the elephants that day. When you come, make sure you visit the zoo shop. There you can buy books, postcards and T-shirts. Everyone will want to wear a zoo T-shirt. An adult ticket costs £10, a children's ticket £5 and a family ticket £12. We hope you enjoy your visit to the zoo. Now listen again. Thank you for phoning Park Zoo. The zoo is open from Monday to Saturday from 9 in the morning to 7.30 at night and on Sundays from 10 to 5. You can stay in the zoo for one hour after closing time. The zoo is north of the city centre and you should take the train to North Station. It is a five-minute walk from there. We have many interesting animals for you to see, but please note the Elephant House won't be open on the 3rd of May. I'm sorry, but you can't see the elephants that day. When you come, make sure you visit the zoo shop. There you can buy books, postcards and T-shirts. Everyone will want to wear a zoo t-shirt. An adult ticket costs £10, a children's ticket £5 and a family ticket £12. We hope you enjoy your visit to the zoo. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. This is the end of the test. So the park zoo is open from 9 a.m. to very good 7:30 p.m. And the nearest station is the it's the train station. Elephant House close on third of May. Chapters, books, postcards, and what? T-shirt. Cost of the family ticket, how much? 12. Okay, very good. Okay. So, let us continue other topic. Okay, it's me.
Okay, Andy, in the part one, okay, please remember to add more details on the sentence. Okay, first, what do you think of your hometown, Andy? What do you think of your hometown, Andy? It's very hot. Very hot. Why it's very hot? Because... Why it's very hot? Because Why it's very hot? Because 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 it's summer in your country? Summer because it's for summer. Okay. Which other towns have you visited in your other in your country? Which other town have you visited in your country? It's a couple. Is it far? A supermarket. In the supermarket. What else? Aside from the supermarket, what else? Um, the just and and back. Okay, it's New Year today, right? New Year. Okay. Have you traveled to another country? No, no, not yet. How about other place today? It's holiday. Where will you go? Is a supermarket. Okay, so have you traveled to another place? Just near your place, just near. Have you traveled? Yes. Have you yes. traveled or no? Not yet? Mm. Not yet? Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, not yet. Which country would you like to visit in the future? Which country would you like to visit in the future? Is Which country would you like to visit in the future? Hanoi. It is? Hanoi. Hanoi. You want to go Hanoi. Okay. Do you like traveling? Yes, yeah, teacher. Why? Why do you like to travel? Because. Why do you like to travel, Andy? Because. Because. Because? Because I can go many places. Okay, very good. Because I can go many places. That's why I love to travel. Very good, Andy. Okay, so this word, Andy, we have vocabulary. We have the word accommodation. It means a room or a building which you stay, like hotel, like that. That's accommodation. Guided tour. It means a tour in which a group of people is guided by an expert. Mm -hmm. Another holiday destination, it is a place where you go for a holiday. Example, you go to Hanoi. Oh, that's holiday destination. Okay, package tour. It's a holiday at a fixed price in which the travel company arrange your travel hotels and sometimes meals for you. Okay, go sightseeing. It means to go visiting site of interest. 
agency. Another travel agency, it means a shop that specializes in booking holidays. Again, travel agency, it means a shop that specializes, specializes in booking holidays. We call it travel agency. Okay, we have here the phrasal verb. Okay, traveling. Okay, like hurry up. Okay, sit off. Get on. Get in. Check out. Hold up. Get off. Take off. These are the different phrasal verb traveling or phrasal verb. Okay, we consider it as phrasal verb. Okay. Let us talk about a destination that you love. Okay. So this is in Vietnam. In other countries, this is in Vietnam. Example, this is in Vietnam. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. So in Vietnam or in other countries, okay. What place in Vietnam that you really like to travel? Give me one place in Vietnam. That you really like to travel, except Hanoi. Oh, by the way, Andy, you are in Danang? Yeah, teacher. Okay, so is it Danang near or far in Hanoi? Is it far in Hanoi or near in Hanoi? Uh, it's far in Hanoi. It's far from Hanoi. How about Ho Chi Minh? Is Danang near Ho Chi Minh or far? Uh, far. Far also. Okay. Which place that you want to visit in Vietnam? In Saigon. Saigon. Oh, I know Saigon. Saigon is a place where there is a snow. Yeah, teacher. Oh, uh, so why do you like to go there? Because. Why do you like to go Saigon? Because. because... 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 Saigon is why? Because I have many free time living there. Okay, so you have, because you have many lavender. Okay, many lavender. Okay, so in this place, there is a lot of beautiful place. Or maybe it's cold. You want to go there. You want to stay there. Okay, so this one, what is the place? What can you see and do there? Okay, we have this one. Okay. Now, what is the place Saigon? What can you see in Saigon? I can see supermarkets. Supermarkets and, and what else? And, and many house. Okay. What time uh how can go how can you get there? How can you get to Saigon? Plane. You can get to? Plane. Okay, buy a? Plane. Plane. Okay, what time of the year is better to go there, to go in Saigon? What time of the year? Is. Is. Fall. It's fall. Okay, why it's fall? Why it's nice and why it's good to go there in Saigon during fall fall season? Because 
because Because I really try. Okay, because Paul I is really a nice try. place. Okay, so here. And this one, look at this. Okay, please answer, Andy. Look at this, Andy. Please and answer where to start, what to start. Is it every day? Is it expensive? How about the lunch? Okay, where you will gonna have the lunch? Okay, please answer. Yes. Learn in the park restaurant. Okay. And what you are going to visit? Yes. Is. Grand Hotel at 10 a.m. Okay. What to visit there? You will visit a beautiful town in Where the Grand Hotel. Is it every day? No. It is every only Tuesday. But it is only every Tuesday. Is it expensive, Andy? It is how much? Yes. It yes. is. It's touching path. Very soon. Okay. How about the lunch? Is there a lunch? It's a park restaurant. Okay. In the park restaurant, there is a lunch in the park restaurant, teacher Anne. Okay. Very good. Next one. Next question. Okay. We have here the questions about Happy days, club. Okay. So 12 to 18, look at the book about happy club. Okay. What is the name of the club? Yes. Name of the club is? Is happy day club. Happy days, club. When mm -hmm. will be? Okay. The showing of the club. When? Is... Every Friday, 7.30 to 10. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And what you are gonna, going to do? What you will do in the club, in the Happy Days Club? You will go into? Yeah, music, dancing, and lost more. Very good. You are going to have games, music, dancing, and a lot more. Okay. Where is that? Where is the location of the club? Where can you it find? Twenty nine Milton Street. Twenty nine Milton Street. And how much is the cost? Is two pounds per week. Okay, it is two pounds per week. Very good. Yay! Great job, Andy. So this is everything about the Happy Club. Do you think they are happy, Andy? Do you think they are happy? Yeah, teacher. Okay, they are happy, teacher Anne. Okay. So, talking about the hobby club, look at this. This is the hobby club. It's for young people from 12 to 18 years. Okay. Every Friday, every Friday, 7.30 to 10. And then, the street, you can find the hobby club, 29 Melton Street. And just, to 
pounds yeah. per week. Okay, very not expensive. Okay, and what you are going to do there is you will not done. You will have game. There is a music and a lot more. Okay, so you will gonna love a lot more. Ano kay tuon tuon? Pag tuon ang tuon. Kablibro. Okay. Okay, so you will gonna have this one. So many things to do, Andy, in the happy club. Okay, so Andy, we don't have enough time. So, teacher, and we'll say goodbye, and I will see you on on next Tuesday. On Tuesday, okay, okay, Andy boy. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, sir. See you later. See you on Tuesday. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, teacher.